Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going over a lifted Ram 2500 limited mega cab. Before we get into the video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description and down below. You can check out this truck and the rest of the inventory that they have right now. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Now, I know this is a little bit strange because I typically only review new vehicles on the channel and not pre-owned vehicles like this, but I feel like this is a dream build for a lot of people, so I figured I'd share it with all of you. So, like I said, this is a 2500 with the Cummins diesel. Now, being a 2500, it has the low output version of the Cummins, so it's good for 370 horsepower and then 850 pound-feet torque goes through a six-speed automatic transmission. And then this one is built off of a limited, so you got the giant limited grill. And something I love about Ram trucks is they don't do crazy uh, large air dams like what Ford does from a stylistic perspective, because, well, they don't need it with the aerodynamics of the truck. And so, yeah, it just looks really cool once you lift it, and you could just get rid of the air dam altogether if you want. Now, for the tire and wheel setup, we've got 37 by 12 and a half by 20, and, yeah, it looks really good. So we got fuel wheels, which I feel like is pretty typical for diesel trucks. And you guys can see just how aggressive the tires are. Now something's really cool is this actually has Fox shocks added to it. It's a BDS lift, as you can see. Now, I'm not exactly sure how big this lift is. I'm guessing it's either four or six inches, judging by the height. Now, limited comes with power steps as standard. So that's another thing that people love to do with lifted trucks is power steps, but the Limited already has it stock. Now, a big benefit of lifting a 2500, and you guys can see again, Fox shocks down the rear, we'll see how it rides, is that it comes with multi-link from the factory instead of leaf springs like a lot of other diesel trucks. And so when you lift a truck like this, it actually rides exceptionally smooth. And this truck has some pretty interesting equipment. So like I said, Mega Cab, we'll get into that in just a moment. But this also has the Ram boxes, which is not necessarily a feature that you, uh, see all that often obviously it's something you can order but not a lot of people order it this one has the outlet on the side and so that's pretty cool tonneau cover as well and got some mud flaps on this but yeah i just kind of want to show you guys the exterior of this just kind of how it looks really cool looking it's got like this really large imposing appearance to it and the stance is fantastic and then popping inside the truck again you got those power side steps you got the limited interior and by the way, this truck is like 50,000 miles, so I'm pretty impressed with how well the limited interior is held up with the higher mileage that this has. It's 2019, if you guys are wondering. And so, yeah, this is just like a super nice luxury lifted truck. Got the sunroof there at the top. Now, getting in is interesting. So, power step, and then grab on the leather grab handle, and then you gotta like heave yourself up. Yeah, look at that, 50,936 miles on it. And yeah, just, just a nice place uh, to be overall. And uh, with that being said, I know that was like the shortest start ever. Also, Harman Kardon sound system. 19 speakers and a subwoofer. Let's take this out for a short drive. Again, this is just a quick look video to show you guys a cool lifted truck that I saw on the lot. Let's see how it drives the lift and I'll give you guys my opinion on a, well, new generation Ram that's been lifted and has 50,000 miles on it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Of course we got the trailer mirrors popped up in normal Ram fashion and then throughout the rest of the rear and I'm already in drive so we are uh, officially setting off on our Moiden, Moiden, maiden voyage here in this Ram. Look at that Tacoma, they've got, oh man. And the thing is, these are just trade-ins, so these are just what uh, people have wanted on their vehicles that they added to it, which is kind of interesting. See a Tacoma with wheels that big is definitely interesting. Um, but actually driving the truck, uh, first off, I forgot how nice these limiteds are because you know obviously i own a ram trx that has basically limited interior but i haven't been in a limited in quite some time so it's kind of it's kind of an interesting experience to drive the truck now that being said feels gigantic definitely has this like big kind of like monstrous uh feel to it which is fun it's definitely fun 
Seat comfort's great. And that's the cool thing about leather seats like this is they do wear in over time. And I will say I'm pretty impressed with the overall like um, durability of everything here inside the truck. It, it's it's pretty amazing how long uh, or how many miles this has on it and just uh, how it feels overall from an interior perspective. Like yeah, I can obviously see some wear and tear. Like this doesn't look like it looked brand new in terms of the overall feel, but yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty solid. Now, aside from that, it's really smooth with the ride quality. And again, that's a big benefit of the 2500 is that, again, you've got that multi-link in the back end. And so it gives you a really smooth ride quality that you just can't replicate with leaf springs. Even the uh, GM trucks that have independent front suspension just don't have the same rear end ride quality that a Ram has. Now, if you guys are wondering, Ram still utilizes um, a solid front axle with their uh, heavy duty trucks. GM is really the only heavy duty truck maker that doesn't use a solid front axle anymore. So a little bit different. And the thing that's great about this uh, Cummins diesel is it's got so much torque that it, it can move, you know, lift wheels and tires really well. It can move the whole setup really well. It doesn't struggle at all from an acceleration or a movement perspective. Here, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better camera view. I'm still getting used to, uh, I know I've been doing point of view for like a while at this point, but I, I'm trying to get used to uh, a new point of view format, if that makes sense, where I basically uh, recline the seat a massive amount, but I'm still not used to like, I have to, I have to basically like be in like a gangster pose. This is, this is gangster pose view for you guys. So it, it'll take me some time, but I'll eventually get used to feeling like this. It's, it's the only way I can get you guys like a full steering wheel view because I'm just a little bit too tall for point of view content. We just hit a bug. We just murdered a bug. Sorry, but yeah, this is a cool truck. This is definitely a cool truck. Drives really well. Um, so here's what I'd have to say is I think it looks great. I think that goes without saying. Um, I'm typically not a fan of 20 inch wheels, but I don't think that anyone that buys lifted diesels, that's my uh, tripod, that buys lifted diesels takes them off road. I, I just don't think that's the thing. I think it's just all for looks. And this definitely is a looker. Um, interior wise, the limited's great. It's, it's impressive, like I said, how this is uh, held up with, again, I know it's not a million miles, right? But you know, this is this has got some mileage on it. I'm, I'm impressed with how this is held up overall with the mileage. And you know, overall, again, it, it looks cool, drives well. And this is a heck of a lot cheaper than those, you know, name brand company builds. So like, I, I'm not gonna name any names, but like, you know, you see the builds that are like $20,000 and it's basically this. And here's the deal is like this truck yeah, the Limited's expensive nowadays. It's like, I mean, probably this same truck today, I imagine a brand new one's probably close to $80,000 MSRP, but you can do lift wheels, tires, these shocks, probably for like, what, less than 10 grand, maybe even less than 7,500 bucks. And yeah, so you're, you'd probably be like less than $90,000, obviously before taxes and all that. Taxes are always fun, right? Um, but yeah, less than like $90,000 roughly. And you just have a really cool looking truck overall. Also, this has the CD player that, <laughs> they did this for one year. They did this for the 2019s and then they got rid of it. It's also got the auxiliary switches, which is interesting. I know I already did a walk around, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's been some time since I've been in a 2019 Ram 2500 or 1500. I forgot the little changes that they made, like the seats or the whole screen, kind of how that whole setup is like but yeah let me know what you guys think about this lifted truck uh, if you go for this or if you go for like a name brand truck with a similar package on it and why and i guess this is also a secondary review to show you guys hey a 2500 cummins with 50,000 miles yes it still drives it's not in the shop <laughs> that's important um other than that that's all. That's because something's up for our video on this Ram 2500 Limited with the lift tires and wheels. 
And with that being said, again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out them in the description down below. I'll see you.